Good afternoon, everyone. Look at the butterfly diagram of sunspots indicating cooling for our planet. Remember the August snows in several locations across the Northern Hemisphere. We'd also be looking for record cold Denver. Record cold high temperature and record cold low temperature. Kansas City record earliest measurable snowfall. Winter weather advisories way down near the Mexican border. Texas temperatures freezing. Corporate media suddenly changing their tune to why October won't be record hot. And since we're in Denver, let's take a look at the Denver Zoo. Extremely rare lemur. And a quick FYI, I've started this page of resources here on the Amazon Adapt 2030 page. I started off with a grand solar minimum reading list that give you a good indication of what the grand solar minimum is, how we're moving into this cooling, and how it's going to affect your life. If you have any ideas of other things you would like, I'm going to also introduce products, canning, preserving foods, and all these things that we're going to need moving into this new paradigm. All of these resources you can find in the description box below the video, as well as Mini Ice Age Conversations podcast episode number 122. And I really delve into the mind thought of, will the governments of our world tell the population of the impending changes on Earth? Starting off here with the daily sunspot area, this is called the butterfly diagram. I highlighted at the bottom there, the orange box is a solar activity. Now we're going to be going back in and repeating something in the 1800s, starting right now of cooling. And this is going to usher us into the 400-year cooling a little bit down the road in, say, 2020 to 2023. There's stark changes ahead, and we should have been seeing the signs all along. The corporate media just does not want to talk about these August snows that occurred across so many countries in the Northern Hemisphere, from Japan to Kyrgyzstan to Europe and here in the United States and Canada. And it was substantial snowfalls. Now, you've got to realize this is in August so these are just some of the signs of cooling has begun and it's intensifying. Now the corporate media is so quick to change their stance of, oh, it's going to be a record hot October, November, and now they flipped why October won't finish like it started. And now they just flipped into, whoa, look at all these below normal temperatures, at least over half the United States. And remember, this is going to extend well up into Canada as well. Bring you over here, Ryan Maui putting these charts out. You can see those temperature gradients way up into Canada. That huge dip going down into Mexico through Texas, record cold. That encompasses more than half the United States and a great amount of Canada and bits of Mexico as well. A Denver, Colorado record cold for the high temperature Previous record cold 1969 was 36 degrees Fahrenheit, and the new record was 27 degrees Fahrenheit. Taking us back into the 70s, we'll find the same thing. The morning low temperatures were broken as well, 18 degrees Fahrenheit, the old record 20. Now, if you look at Denver through the news report, they talked about October high temperatures. Any of those blue boxes are below the normal of 66 degrees. When you start to look at that and you see 47, 40, 38, 37, the average temperature is supposed to be 66 at this time of the year. These are well, well, well below the normal. And how did I find that information? Well, I pulled the next screen here from the Denver Almanac. And even after that record cold, you can still see it's below normal. But what's most interesting in the news report, here's what they put for the warm-up after the record cold. Now notice that heat graph. If you didn't know what you were looking at, you would think that was warm. And this is after record cold. And they're like, look how much it's going to warm up after the record cold. But they put these oranges over there like it's 95 degrees Fahrenheit. But in actuality, when we look at the temperatures across the whole area there from Wyoming down into Colorado, etc., these low temperatures are in the 20s. These are December low temperatures, late December. Seems that the weather patterns are about a month and a half to two months ahead of where they should be, which indicates extreme cooling on the way. Now throw into this the drought, and you can understand why our crops across the United States are being decimated, especially focusing in on wheat and oats. More indications of cooling on our planet. New record earliest measurable snowfall. I mean, we're seeing this across Europe and Asia as well right now. 
National Weather Service today, winter weather advisory. Where is that? Are you kidding me? We're clear down in what, New Mexico and Arizona for these winter weather advisories? And indeed it is. Look at that, Vegas even under a winter weather advisory. Really good look here into the temperatures. This is Fahrenheit for the last couple of days. You can see how cold it really was. And even when the National Weather Service comes out and calls it unseasonably cold with periods of showers, you know that they had to admit straight up that it was cold because people are feeling it and they're noticing it, that how cold below normal it is, that they can't just brush it under the rug. If it was 5 degrees Fahrenheit below normal temperatures, even 8, 10, they would have blown it away. But since it's extremely 20 degrees below normal, they have to talk about it. And again, what happened with all this, ooh, October, November is going to be super mild and even hot because of global warming. Now they flipped it. Corporate media flips it by the week. Their seasonal forecast, if it didn't fit the model, they just flip it right back a week later. Cold winds to pelt the northeast. First snowflakes, power outages, high winds. And then we're looking at these types of temperatures dropping, dropping, dropping into the 30s. I thought that would be November weather. Again, this is about a month ahead of the temperatures and these frost freeze threats are ahead of the normal schedule as well, pushing all the way down. They're talking snow in Tennessee of all places. Temperatures are gonna plunge down into the 20s and 30s Fahrenheit. 20 degree Fahrenheit should be at least November, December, not the middle of October. But bringing you on a happy note here, the cute little lemur, Denver Zoo welcomes the extremely rare new baby. All the links are below in the description box, and I encourage you to listen to episode number 122, Mini Ice Age Conversations, because you have to realize the government's definitely not going to be telling you about this because a global panic would ensue, and I try to explain it the best way I can in that episode.